everyone, my name is Julie. Thank you so much for watching. And today we're doing our advent calendar. Whoop, 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 whoop. I'm excited. I hope you are. This is my favorite video to film because this is where I take two advent calendars, one of which is store bought from the brand Miss Lynn. It is a European brand. And the other one is a calendar that I put together out of products in my own collection. And I get to test these two products and every two weeks I come back and tell you if they're yay or nay. So I either get to keep them or declutter them and I'm really excited. <laughs> so let's talk about what I opened up two weeks ago. Um, the first thing out of my own calendar was a balm product. This is this is the Balm Desert Bronzer Blush. And it's one of a lovely lady in the pool right there. Super pretty. Um, the shade is called Balm Desert, by the way. And this is what it looks like. It looks barely touched, but I've worn it like five times. <laughs> <laughs> and I would say this is definitely more of a bronzer than a blush. I remember last time this was, I thought, more of a blush than a bronzer. Um, it's just a warm tone bronzer. I think it's pretty. I have it actually as my blush today and kind of up around here. I don't know if I love it as much on my forehead, but it does make a beautiful, like, I don't know, warm flush to the skin. I can see myself reaching for this a lot during the summer, and so I'm going to keep it. Um, and it looks like a little bit goes a long way because there's like no real use in the middle there. And I've used this, so this is a keep. The other one is the nail polish I am wearing. This is the Miss Lynn 105 nail polish and mine is in the shade... Oh, I just saw it. Where was it? There it is. Heads over heel. Nope, that makes... Head over heels! That makes way more sense. Um, <laughs> Plural, not plural. So this is a straight up orange. This is gonna be great for the fall time, I think. And it's basically a neon orange, maybe. It's been between a neon orange and a pumpkin orange. I really like the shade. I have a black topper that I think would actually look really, really good on this. Um, but yeah, and look at that shine on it. Isn't that nice? So far the chipping has been minimal. Again, I just did this, so it's not too much, but it lasted a full 24 hours so far. <laughs> But I just think it's pretty. I think it looks, it's like bright and cheery, but it's not like, I don't know. I don't have anything else like in my collection. So I'm gonna keep that one. So yay for two keeps. How exciting is that? I'm like, nail on it. Let's go into what I'm gonna open this week because I have made a grave error. <laughs> um, I have chosen on my random.org the number eight. And I looked at my Miss Lynn calendar which is this massive thing right here. And you know how when I open up 24, I open up this box, but do you see that number eight there? I actually opened up eight and so 24. Yeah, so that happened. Um, I'm gonna open up 24, <laughs> which is way over on this side. Uh, I must admit, I'm finding it kind of hard to find the numbers on this box apparently. I'm kind of embarrassed that as a grown woman at 32, I can't seem to know that like this was actually labeled 8 instead of 24. But that's okay. We're going to open up 24, and then I've got 8 in my own advent calendar, because I already opened up 24 in the other one. You guys understand. Let's get to it. Let's open this up and see what I've got in here. This is a set of eyelashes. They're in the number 27 shade, uh, shade style, type. Those are like really big. Okay. I mean, they're not really big compared to like what other people wear on lashes, but I find that lashes look really good natural on me, but maybe not as big as that. Um, I will see if I reach for these in the next two weeks. In all transparency, I don't really wear false lashes ever, except for formal events, which I don't really have. <laughs> um, but I may use these. I can kind of foresee myself getting rid of them, like decluttering them, but maybe maybe I'll reach for them. Like, one never knows. Maybe my husband's like, let's go for date night, and I'll be like, see you, boo, let's go. <laughs> let's go out. So yeah, I don't think this is a bad thing to be in the box, though. Um, especially an advent calendar because it's around the holidays and I do find myself, you know, for work parties or things like that, you know, like a good holiday party, this might be kind of fun for. Um, there's no really flair to them. They do look like they come in multiple lengths, which is fun and a little bit more natural looking, 
But the curve on those lashes, they're like, oop, they're like really long. Like much longer than my natural lashes. I feel like they're gonna touch like my eyebrows or something. But this is your style, Miss Lynn Selzy's. So that's cool. Oh, and there's mini lash adhesive in there too. Mini eyelash adhesive, mini eyelash adhesive. That's hard to say. Uh, yeah, cool. Well, I'm glad that they added that little bit onto it. I like when they come together. Okay, number eight, the true number I'm supposed to open. Here we go. This is that, um, looks like a powder. It's really a thick powder. I wonder if this is from Physician's Formula. Maybe it's a blush then. I am wrong on all accounts. <laughs> okay, Rival the Loop Natural Lift Compact Powder. This uh, in the shade 02 Ivory. I'm glad I'm getting this now before I get much tanner. Because <laughs> look, you can already see how light it is compared to me. Whoa, buddy. Um, okay, so Rival de Loop is a European brand. Let's open this up and just give it a little swatch. A little swatchy swatchy. Oh, oh, ooh. A hidden compartment with a, a, a cookie shaped sponge with a bite taken out of it. I've never seen that particular shape before. Is it for like, oh, that actually be really good. <laughs> no, I know it's for, it's for gripping and I know. I just think that that's weird that it has like a cookie cutter bite out of it. That is just, it's a funny shape to me, but I'm pleasantly surprised it's in there. It has a little mirror on this side. That's what it looks like. I'm kind of wondering why I chose this color. Maybe I was like really pale. <laughs> like, can you see the powder? <laughs> um, it feels very, very finely milled. It's definitely matte. Um, this is going to be interesting because it is a smidge light on me at the moment. So I will see how this goes. It does feel good on the skin. And it does actually perfect. Like I'm trying to put, I put it right here on my hand and it, I can see a difference between where I put it and where I didn't put it. Um, you can definitely feel the difference. I'm interested. Okay, we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm hoping it goes well, clearly, since I already spent my money on it. <laughs> But there you go. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a one for us for your day. If you have used either the Rival de Loup powder or the Miscellane eyelashes, let me know what you think about the products. Let me know what you think about the brands too. Um, I'm still trying to explore European brands even though if you haven't heard yet, I am moving. So I am trying to like clear out some stuff, but I still want to like try these European brands. I haven't really gotten around to trying yet. So thank you so much for watching. Happy panning. I'll see you in my next one.